Hey everyone, Chris here. I wanted to show you guys something that I picked up a couple of days ago that I thought you guys might like. So last video that I did, we kind of talked about my EDC belt from XTAC that I've had for a long time now, almost two years. And I love this belt. This belt is awesome. There's nothing wrong with it. You guys can kind of tell. It's got some wear and tear. This is a phenomenal belt. That That's a badass belt for $30. For $60, I picked this guy up. The next belt, Supreme Appendix Carry Belt, EDC or Concealed Carry. They do make a bunch of different styles. If you guys are interested, dress belts, leather belts, nylon belts. I'm kind of a fan of the nylon belts. Everybody's got their personal preference but they they make the style out there for you so check them out i think it's really cool and i kind of wanted to show you guys some cool features that it has over the competition but at the same time one or two downsides to it on the back it has the instructions and it is made in the usa which i think is really really cool so in the instructions it it tells you to add four inches onto your uh, waistline when making or cutting this belt. That's one of the downsides. Once you cut, you can't put back. And I went with the tan. I like that. Something different. I like it. It's really cool. The other downside is on the tan belt, unlike the other belts this one's kind of hard to to see the markings so i haven't cut it i haven't measured anything yet i decided to take it out and kind of show you guys what you get in this package that i think is amazing because for an extra 30 dollars, you get this really really cool belt whoops bumped the camera there i'm sorry guys so if you want to release your belt you just push down on the button and it comes right off. This actually has the latching system that I think that a lot of people are really going to like. So here's your ratchets down in here in the belt. And this is like really stiff stuff. <clears throat> and then... And then if you need to... You know, get a little bit of adjustment going on. You can totally do that. Get done eating a big meal. You kind of want to adjust out. You can totally do that with ease. I really like this belt. The other thing that I kind of want to point out to you guys is these little holes right here is where you would put your screws after you measured everything. So you would put your screws that already have some Loctite on them. You got your Allen key, Allen wrench in there. And it does come with the little cool band that I think is kind of awesome. For $60, guys, this is this is a pretty cool belt. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to pick up the other belts and kind of you know get some style going, but I don't have a tan belt, and I figured, you know, why not? I got this guy, you know, I already have a black belt, so I figure I just go with the tan belt. Like I said, you guys don't have to. They make a bunch of different kinds of dress belts and other kind of stuff. But I figured that I'd let you guys kind of take a look at this. And this buckle is not huge compared to like something like this, you know, which I think is really neat. And the other thing is to you guys that I wanted to mention is that when sizing a belt for holsters, if you have a belt that is 1.5, which is your depth, get clips that match that. So these clips are 1.5 clips, inch clips, so they'll clip onto any belt that is 1.5. So I figured that I'd just throw that little bit of information out there for you as well and kind of show you guys you know, the different styles and variety 
that are out there in the market. Do I think this is a good belt? Yeah. Have I tried it, cut it? No, I haven't just because I can't tell what marks those are. And like I said earlier, if you can't, you know, you can't put back what you cut. So I figured that I would just do a, a quick video on it. And if you guys are in the market for something like this, I would highly recommend it. But yeah, anyway, thanks everyone. I appreciate it. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one.